good evening. Thanks for sharing part of your night with us. I'm Tim Seaman. President Trump with his most somber message yet, calling on Americans to brace for a very tough two weeks as his medical advisors warn that the number of deaths could reach as high as 240,000, even if Americans continue to take steps to flatten the COVID-19 curve. ABC's Romina Puga breaks down those numbers in our top story tonight at 10. President Trump calling the coronavirus a plague, warning the country faces tough days ahead. This is going to be a rough two-week period. Health officials saying numbers will likely go up, but we cannot be discouraged. The mitigation is actually working. As we look forward to the next 30 days, we do it with all the intensity and force that we can. New York City Tuesday night reaching a grim milestone. The death toll there alone, more than 1,000. We have to look at this pattern and conclude that the worst is certainly in the next few weeks, minimum, I could see it going into May. The gravity of the crisis felt across the country as hospitals and state governments battle to get ventilators. It's like being on eBay with 50 other states bidding on a ventilator. That's literally what we're doing. In Los Angeles, a mass quarantine ramping up. People moving into these RVs. Cases in California have spiked roughly 30% to at least 7,400. Los Angeles, of course, will be the new New York in the way that New York is the new Italy. Healthcare workers on the front lines afraid of infecting their families at home. First responder John Rugen hasn't seen his son in a week. Last night he asked me, he said, when are you going to cut? When are you going to come get me? And I told him when everybody stops going, become sick, or when they stop going to heaven. But some good news. Earlier Tuesday, President Trump unveiling a new testing device, whose makers Abbott Laboratories say will deliver a positive result in just five minutes. The FDA has provided an emergency use authorization of the new five-minute test, allowing it to be shipped out Wednesday and could be available at local urgent care clinics around the country. Romina Puga, ABC News, Los Angeles.